Welcome to the City Point Terminal Model Railroad. This is Mike, and I'm going to do a little session on uh, how I automate, how, how I computer control the switches on my railroad. I'm going to start out here with, uh, this is like a PowerPoint type uh, video. Um, I'm going to start out here. I took a, this is a connection, how the tortoise switch, switch machines can be connected to the power supply and how they switch back and forth. Um, they, they, in their instructions, they give three different models. Um, a couple years ago when I first put the tortoise switch machines in, I chose this model, which is used as a, like a 16 volt AC supply with two rectifier diodes that basically half wave rectifies either a positive voltage or a negative voltage and um, then use the switch to switch between the positive or negative to switch the Taurus switch machine. Well it turns out to, to automate it, computer control this, all you got to do is put in a double position double throw relay and switch between switch the wires around to the opposite direction and that's what I chose to do so where this relay is is an add-on I put between the switches the single position double throw switches which I have on my control panel and that's according to the tortoise spec and I basically just added a double position double throw relay to reverse the connections to the tortoise switch machine and the computer interface also has to do is send 12 volts out to the relay and engage the relay and I'll switch the switch to the other direction. So there is a downside to this approach and that is that the uh, switches on the front panel affect whether the computer, which way the computer sets the uh, switch. So um, so basically the computer had no way of knowing how the front panel switches are and if the front, front panel switch is opposite to what the computer expects the computer will be will operate in a reverse manner which is bad so my approach to doing this is when I operate in uh, automatic operation I always leave the switches to the main route and the diverging route uh, must be switched to by the computer and this, this is an easy workaround but it is one shortcoming of this approach so this is a schematic for the uh, interface on my Apple II computer that I use to control the relay and basically this schematic shows the sense inputs that I described uh, previously there's 16 sense inputs well on the same board I added eight outputs to control the uh, relays and what the relays I chose are 12 volt relays so what I do is I take 12 volt from the computer supply run it through a fuse in case there's a short or something out there it just blows the fuse um, add some capacitance to smooth it and then so that goes out to the uh, relay and the return from the relay comes back through a transistor which is controlled by a 74 LS 259 type 8 bit addressable latch. So this transistor basically is a current switch, right? So, so if the output from the 8 bit addressable latch, which is a 5 volt TTL output, is low, then no current can flow and uh, the relay is turned off. If the output is high then uh, a certain amount of current will flow and the relay can be turned on. Now I set the uh, output through a 1k resistor which limits current to about 5 milliamps and with the 3904 transistors I use there's a a beta of about 50 so at most you can get 250 milliamps through uh, one of these transistors will allow but you know it, it, the, uh, the relays themselves act as like uh, 800 
ohm resistors so that basically limits the current and uh, the, the addressing this latch is pretty easy um, you have to write to an address related to the slot that the card's in and you use the least significant data bit that you write to to uh, set or reset the bit so it's basically one assembly language instruction to uh, either set or reset uh, throw a switch so it's very easy to use and I decided for the purposes of uh, right now I'm just supporting eight switches per card on one of these cards you can potentially add a couple of these cards to uh, Apple II without any issue so here's an image of the uh, card I hand wire wire wrapped the uh, eight transistors one chip and a connector is on the left side of the board plus the fuse and a couple capacitors and that's all there's to it I did add a use another gate on the other part of the card because this particular circuit uh, the Apple II writes to and the sense part of the circuit which already existed was a read only circuit so I needed to add a write um, enable otherwise it's just pretty easy to add onto this board now this particular circuit is designed for an Apple II but the overall concept could be used by anything an Arduino or any kind of processor that supports TTL IO okay so here I'm using the same distribution board I used on my sense input circuit the exact same board um, you can see they actually the lettering says block detection distribution board well I'm using it also for switch control output so this just takes a ribbon cable from the board I just showed a 20 pin ribbon cable and separates it out to eight RJ11 jacks which I uh, use um, telephone wire four conductor telephone wire to go out to the uh, um, switch controller which is out on a layout this is would be real near the computer so I use two of the wires for plus 12 and two of the wires are the return so it's a very simple board uh, and it's handy that I can reuse the same board okay the final component of the system is this little board I had made up basically holds four RJ11 connectors four diodes four relays and it's basically connections for 16 wires um, four wire so this basically will control four switches this board the, and you notice the perforations in the, across the middle of the board it could be broken in half because there's no real connections between each of these switches so it could be broken in half and you could have a double instead of a quad uh, module but basically you got two wires coming in from the uh, switch panel two wires going out to the uh, tortoise machine for each switch the relay a diodes there to prevent any inductive um, problems when the uh, relay uses an inductor to fire so it's it's there to prevent any uh, back back voltage or back EMF problems and then there's a uh, RJ11 will go off to the previous uh, connector it's very simple and uh, seems to work okay So for the final uh, slide of this uh, video, um, I just added the, this um, on the right. I added a few boxes here to basically show this the switch controller added into the uh, sense um, receiver system, and this kind of gives you an overall view of uh, my automation system. I've got a computer. RS-232 serial sending commands out to the locomotives through the DCC command system. I've got block sense two on a single card. I have two block sense receive ports for up to 16 uh, block sense receive ports and eight uh, switch control output ports. I've got a power supply for the switch machines. 
I have manual switches on the layout fascia so if you're not running automation or you want to override the automation you can do that and uh, finally I've got the switch machines the track and you know all that so that's my automation system as it stands today I hope uh, it's of some interest to somebody um, it's been a lot of fun even if it hasn't it's been a lot of fun building it so that's all um, be sure to visit my website and uh, let me know how, how you know give me all the positive and negative feedback you got thank you